What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is B-Side Investing. And uh, if you're new, please feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, we do these crypto content, a uh, bit of a challenge, you know, 100K challenge, uh, build our portfolio from 1,000. Well, currently we're sitting pretty good. Um, so yeah, uh, that's what we do here. And uh, feel free to check out the other videos. And today, uh, from the title, obviously, that you've seen, uh, we're doing Marathon Digital. Uh, they're currently, what they have done is they have updated uh, Bitcoin production and mining operations. And that's a huge deal. And we'll go through the numbers. And currently, the share price is at 28.83 after hours. So, um, Bitcoin price stable around 39, 38, 39. So, um, nothing crazy. But, uh, yeah, so. Okay, uh, getting into the article right here. Um, so this is for July, the month of July. So month over month, there's an increase of 66%. And they mined 442 Bitcoin in July. Holy cow, that's a lot. That is crazy. Okay, and obviously that gets them to approximately 6.25.6 Bitcoin. 16, uh, 6,000, yeah. So... <sighs> I think they're probably the biggest in terms of the miners i want to say publicly traded because we don't know what private miners hold so obviously um yeah let's see here so you can see the delivery number so this is the schedule that's um supposedly you know if it's on schedule then that this is the number but uh let's see so august we have thirty thousand miners coming in and then 32 um, I think this is a addition. So throughout the month, it adds up and adds up and adds up, all the way up to 133. So this is the new one. So um, before we were looking only till about January or February 2022, but now this is the increased uh, number right here. So we're looking at 133 instead of 100,000. So they were supposed to be uh, Q1 at the Q at the end of Q1. They sh they were supposed to have. Let's see. Okay, it says January, but um, it seems like now it's gonna be right here. Yeah, about March. About Q1, they were supposed to have about 10. Point um three six three seven exa hash so yeah and uh right okay so let's uh, look at the production numbers uh so 442 bitcoin uh for july crazy um holdings 6225 ridiculous market fair micro value about 260 million that's crazy and uh, so they have a cash holding of approximately 92, bit, uh, 92 million and approximate total value of cash and Bitcoin holdings at $352 million. This does not include the assets they own. So assets being the miners, the infrastructure and uh, all the other good stuff. So so uh, what they received was approximately 19,401 S19 Pro miners. Um pretty sure that was yeah that was the right deal right here so that that's what they made the deal for um yeah there we go so the s19 pro if you don't know how it looks like this is what it looks like where to go s19 pro there we go um yeah so that's what that looks like i mean you can see the numbers uh if we go back just want to see yeah so it's kind of like the most uh, efficient in terms of usage electricity yeah but the micro bt what's mana m30s plus plus kind of takes the cake here just by a few like about 16 cents per day um with just two more hash uh tera hash per second so yeah but uh the bitmain the line the line is ridiculous so they added a new one at 104 terahash i don't think this was available well now it is available uh since june uh, july 
Um, so I guess they haven't gone with that one. They did, a, they did buy new, uh, buy some more. That's why we're having to. That's why they added their new goal for Q2 of uh, additional three point um, three x hash. So, um, so that's what they have. Uh, let's see. And they will also collect 4287 S19 Pro more. Uh, that's currently in transit. Okay, that's good. Really, really good. Successful completion of uh, schedule maintenance and upgrade to uh, existing mining fleet, as well as the annual inspection of facilities. Okay, that's good. All right, so the existing mining fleet consists of 19, almost 19.5K. 19 uh, producing 2.09 exahash per second so verified and put it in green right here so i know it's up to date and accurate okay and uh let's see so miners yeah so on august uh, just a few days ago um when the market was closed um let's see so they announced the purchase of additional 30,000 s19 j pro miners this is the 10 uh, this is the 110 exa uh, terahash version. So there's two versions right here. So the one released on June and the one released on July. Um, I'm not up to date on why there's two different ones, but I'm pretty sure there was only supposed to be one variant. Maybe I'm mistaken, but yeah. Okay. So they're going with the 100 uh, terahash, which is obviously still not a bad deal. I mean, some of the other companies, smaller companies, they're struggling to even get the 86 terahash and even the lower they're working with the 76 terahash micro bt so um this is kind of like the rich getting richer kind of situation right here because mara and riot they obviously have a huge partnership um with um bitmain um <laughs> and they kind of get like first dibs on these um miners and uh, that's what happens when you have this kind of uh, symbiotic partnership going on with a manufacturer. So, um, okay. And uh, let's see. So they did 30,000. Yeah. So the total number of miners will, miners will go up to 133,000. Jesus Christ. Giving them an approximate hash rate of 13.3 exahash once all miners are deployed. I don't think any other company comes close. Jesus. Hut, their goal, they're like half back. I haven't gotten the delivery numbers for Bitform, but I'm pretty sure they're also going to be like half behind of Mara. So, um, <laughs> this is getting interesting. I didn't think they would purchase more here, but I mean, yeah, I mean, if you have the money and the cachet and like, you know, the partnership and the network to do it you just get it because more hash rate right now you just yeah you need more hash rate like there's nothing more there's nothing that's more important for a bitcoin mining company at the moment because there's huge um advantage right now because of the shift in the downward of network um the difficulty hash rate hash rate network hash rate difficulty so um all the companies are making 50% more Bitcoin uh, per month um, and even per day. So, I mean, <laughs> take advantage. Uh, and the cost is kind of the same. But if you consider that they're mining more, so the BTC price, uh, the BTC, one BTC per uh, cost, that kind of like goes down. So it's a huge advantage. So you can see the difference right here. I mean, obviously, they also, also did um, like install the miners but also you see the surge huge huge increase in the number right here up to 442 from 265 bitcoin mined ridiculous okay so as a result marathon currently holds approximately 600 okay kind of getting into the same point right there um yeah we know you guys purchased 4800 you know kind of to get like a jump start on the hodl Got it. Um, right. Two sixty. I mean, okay. It's kind of repetitive. All right, we'll ignore that. 
Uh, right. August 1st, Bitmain has delivered approximately 19.4k uh, 19 S19 Pro ASIC miners to their hardened Montana facility. So the company announced that it purchased an additional 30,000. Yeah, we covered that. As a result, once all previous purchased installed, yeah, once everything is installed and up and running, the 133,000 Bitcoin miners will get them, will generate 13.3 exahash per second bonkers holy cow my mind is blown um um look at the current network hash rate for bitcoin it's just under 110 exahash and by the <laughs> by end of q2 next year so june they will be competing with and pool the biggest uh, mining pool out there for Bitcoin at 14.02 um, <laughs> I um, yeah and uh, that's Bitmain and miners so that's uh, th th that's their own mining pool and uh, I believe right is in there too so it's gonna be hard for Mara pool which uh, Mara does their own pool so they have their own mining pool um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> they're currently what 14? Yeah, they're going to be up here, top five at least. Um, obviously, the numbers are also going to keep increasing for these uh, mi uh, mining pools as well. But the sheer monstrosity that my Mara pool is going to like just Marathon Digital, comp like the company itself is going to be, is ridiculous. I hope you guys understand the like how. <sighs> How big this is because just one company is like amassing this many hash rate so yeah I mean ridiculous so yeah it was a 66% increase from prior month and uh, ridiculous okay um, right additional matters okay so yeah the numbers the metrics here that we really wanted to see was as of August 1st their average Bitcoin per day is 19 Bitcoin per day. That's what they're producing. Holy cow. My goodness. Like, I just did a video on HUT and they're producing like 9 to 10 Bitcoin per day. Ridiculous. Oh my goodness. This company is too big. Monster. This company is a monster. Also, you guys definitely want to. I forgot to do the. I forgot to show Hot Eight's Twitter account, but they're really active here. So, uh, Marathon Digital. You guys, if you really, if you're really interested in these companies and you want to be up to date on their, uh, with whatever they do, you want to kind of you know check out their Twitter account if you have Twitter. So check it out. And uh, let's see here. So currently, 43 minutes ago, Fidelity buys 7.4% of Bitcoin mining company at Marathon Digital Holding across multiple funds. Okay, so Fidelity, Fidelity, Fidel uh, uh, my bad, <laughs> they bought into Marathon Digital. So it makes sense. Bigger companies are getting in. I am also invested in Mara. I am definitely going into <laughs> put more money in Mara because... I just don't see how this thing is. This company is getting gonna get too big to fail that kind of level. Um, so if I were to kind of invest between Mara and Riot, Riot, there's a romance in the between kind of like the investors and the investing firms with uh, with Riot because it's kind of sup. Uh, Marathon Digital is superior to Riot, but Marathon always seems to be behind Riot in terms of share price and market cap. So I'm going to back Marathon because I believe that they will come out at the end. Um, hint, hint, this big difference right here. Hint, hint will hopefully, hint, hint, open people's eyes. Hint, hint. Hopefully, 
you guys caught the hint hint and do your research because hint hint yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a, it's gonna be over a hundred dollars holy cow yeah okay i mean just crazy um actually i just want to see if this is updated on to yahoo finance right here we have vanguard at 360 million and Squehana, blackrock renaissance i don't see fidelity right here okay fidelity okay so vanguard was at 7.8 so now fidelity is going to be in at 7.5 percent so yeah pumping right now okay yeah that's what's happening so check out marathon digital put it in your um okay stupid ads put it on your uh, watch list and uh make sure to check it out i'm not gonna say buy it because that's up to you that's your decision i uh, just want to say check it out do your own research and keep an eye on the company because this baby is going to move if this <laughs> if mary doesn't move then no other company is moving because it's stupid this company is making so much money and they have a ridiculous amount of hash rate coming in so definitely keep an eye on this company and i'm gonna keep dollar cost averaging in this company so yeah all right hopefully you guys learned something or you can maybe caught something that you didn't know so uh, that's what i always take away from i mean i I've watched a lot of different youtube uh, youtubers and i kind of catch small things here and there and then that kind of gives me like an overall um information on whatever i'm researching so um, yeah so thank you for watching and uh, hopefully uh, i'll see you guys in the next one peace